Whether you love them or hate them, there's always things worth buying at Walmart. Let's see what five things we have to talk about this month. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another product company business vlog. And this, uh, this vlog is about Walmart. And we know that there's a whole discussion going on about whether people should shop at Walmart and how it's destroying small businesses. But the fact of the matter is it's here today and it's, it sells things that are a lot cheaper than other places. So for people looking to save their money or make their dollar go further, Walmart is not a bad option. There's not enough people uh, ganged up against Walmart to make a dent at this point. So keep shopping at Walmart and save your money. Anyway, so I wanna talk about a few things that I buy at Walmart. Um, regularly um, and the first item is is organic tea um, technically flavored teas uh, is one of our favorite uh, beverages uh, non-sweetened it's just usually nice herbs and uh, spices that uh, go a long way at uh, replacing sugary beverages or any other kind of juices that are high in carbs um, our favorite at the moment and it's under three dollars a box like two dollars and ninety cents a box uh, our favorite at the moment is the ginger turmeric flavor. You can't, I, I can't really find a turmeric tea. Like Yogi doesn't seem to make, when they make a ginger lemon, which I like, but it's usually you know closer to $4 a box. So we, we enjoy these teas uh, in between uh, drinking sessions, alcohol. Um, another thing that we used to buy routinely at Walmart was heavy cream. We're not a snob about the, you know, the thickeners or anything like that. Um, whether it's uh, carrageenan or whatever, whatever that stuff is called. Um, and for the longest time, it was $1.62 a pint or around $3.12 a quart. Um, cheap ShopRite brand uh, heavy cream is usually closer to $6 a quart. And you're looking at $7 or $8 a quart. Sometimes it's like almost $10 or $11 a quart, depending on whether you buy organic or not. So this is... but. They recently raised their price 20% to $1.94 a pint, which uh, I don't understand if there's some sort of dairy shortage or not, but the heavy cream is, is normally very expensive at other supermarkets and Walmart has it, has it pretty cheap. Normally also, we also buy it at um, Aldi and Lidl, where it's uh, also around $1.60 something a pint and it's just as good. I mean, we use it for everything. We even make our own ice cream. Uh, we'll explain one day that we'll, it's a little phase we're going through now, but we're not gonna stick with it uh, forever. And another thing I've been buying a lot, you might've noticed uh, in a blog post a week or so ago, is the Tech New Poison Ivy Scrub. It's this uh, tube of uh, like exfoliating, like scrub that you put on your body after you've been landscaping or in the bushes or gardening or whatever the hell you're doing. And if you became exposed to poison ivy, it uh, dissolves the oils and pretty much prevents um, you getting a poison ivy outbreak. It's important though, and I never knew this, but uh, it takes eight hours uh, or up to eight hours for the poison ivy to get absorbed into your skin and create that awful, god awful uh, rash. So the sooner you can take a shower and uh, you know, rub this stuff on and dissolve the oils, the better. Uh, they say use cold water, but I mean, I just, uh, you know, hose off and, you know, air, air cool off uh, and then put the stuff on. But it's around 12 bucks a tube at Walmart and it's usually 15, 16 bucks or higher elsewhere. So you save a few dollars there. And they also have the actual treatment for poison ivy if you do happen to uh, get a, uh, an outbreak. And another thing we enjoy buying at Walmart, and this isn't our first option, but they, they have a pretty decent selection of arts and crafts, not just for kids, but for everybody, but they have a lot of kiddie arts and crafts. And if you don't feel like schlepping out to Hobby Lobby or uh, Michael's, um, and you're in the need of, for something for your, for your kids or for your own little artwork project, they have a surprisingly uh, decent selection of arts and crafts and you know obviously it's not a whole store of arts and crafts but if you if you need to and i'm sure a lot of people don't uh, even know that this uh, section even exists just got to walk around walmart and see what they sell and lastly here for our top five uh, this month is uh, cooking oils we don't use a lot of cooking oil anymore we normally prefer 
butter and bacon fat. Um, if we had beef tallow, we'd use it. We sometimes use lard. Uh, those are the best cooking oils to use. But if you ever you know, want to make a salad or something, we don't eat salad anymore, but our family does. Avocado oil, as well as coconut oil, are the two top preferred non-animal based uh, cooking oils that we like to use. And they have the large size, usually like 16 or 32 ounce, containers of these uh, preferred cooking oils and they have them very cheap, usually half the price of other supermarkets. So I highly recommend you find your avocado and coconut oils at Walmart. And there's a couple other things I want to mention. It's not on my list, but uh, we discovered last week that Walmart has these packages of uh, fresh mutts. I mean, it's not, it's not hand water mutts that you can get, you know, at the Italian delis. And it's a different kind of mutts. It's a more of a melting mutts that you would use um, on a burger, or you could shred it and put it on your pizzas if you still eat bread. And it melts really nicely. And I was thinking for $1.43, that's insane. Because the prices at ShopRite normally are anywhere from like nearly $4 a pound or higher, even five, six, seven dollars a pound for this, you know, shelf stable, vacuum sealed, these pounds of mutts. And I, I was thinking that this stuff would taste uh, fake and processed, but believe it or not, it shredded just like regular mutts. It melted quite well and it actually had a really, really good flavor. Um, I was surprised. I mean, I actually love it. Uh, I don't know if they put any kind of addictive uh, chemicals in there that make me like it uh, unnaturally, but I'm going to buy this until I find out otherwise. It's, it's cheaper than even the supermarkets uh, on sale, like substantially cheaper. So Walmart's going to be our go-to place for these blocks of mutts. Also, I used to, uh, and pe people can say very easily, oh, let, don't buy technology at Walmart. It's really uh, shoddy, low-end stuff. Um, and in the past, that was a real major league tech snob. I always had to have the best, and, and that's a psychological condition that humans have to always want better than, than something else. You know, like uh, I have to upgrade my car, add options, do this and do that. Um, but in 2019, technology is so disposable. It's not like if you spend uh, five thousand dollars on a television set, it's it's future proof and it's never going to wear out or break down. Most likely, you're going to have to replace your your technology just as fast, whether you buy a three hundred dollar or two hundred dollar TV or a fifteen hundred dollar or twenty five hundred dollar TV. The the difference today is so undistinguishable. I mean, I suppose if you're watching 4K, which is really not taking off yet, except online. Um, I, I wouldn't even recommend wasting my money on that high-end stuff. And I also bought a 55-inch uh, TV. I forget how much I paid for a couple hundred bucks. We never watch TV in this house, but when we turn it on, it looks great. And high def 1080p looks looks perfect. I mean, I guess you could adjust the color balance, and, and if you don't watch TV, it doesn't really matter. And same goes for their laptops. We. I remember spending nearly like three or four thousand dollars on some custom PC maybe ten years ago with a auto paint finish I paid an extra two hundred dollars for. It was really nice. It, it was a really heavy duty computer but it became outdated just as fast as any other thing. So I would just, I mean there's a couple bare minimums you want to get. You want to get a certain amount of RAM and you want to have a what do you call it, a, a solid state hard drive. And, and if you're into any kind of graphics processing or gaming, you probably want to get a dedicated video processor. That's why I like using desktop computers. But we have a laptop, a couple laptops to running around the house here. And I just use it for surfing the web or uh, doing uh, banking. Or I mean, there's really no reason to get a high-end computer. I wouldn't recommend a Chromebook or any one of those cloud-based computing uh, solutions but uh, for for also by the way you can go on Amazon uh, used and best box I mean best buy open box they always have computers cheap I think I scored a, a, a Lenovo uh, touch screen for 90 bucks and it works great I, I couldn't really one run, run Windows on I had to format the hard drive and install Linux which it runs like like great I mean, I can run the 50 tabs on my my browser and then run the closed circuit TV for the house, and it, even though it only has two gigs of RAM, it works great. And um, 
that's about it. We'll be back in a month or two with some other things that we think are worth buying at Walmart in order to save money. Have a nice rest of your week.